don't know how people binge watch. I don't. I can't do it. I can't. I, I, you know, I just can't stand there and watch. No, there are some shows that I've like binge watched. Uh, it's it's easier when you're doing it with someone. I, me and my brother binge watched Daredevil season three like very quickly. But yeah, that I get. I get that. Um, one show that I'm pretty much finished. Uh, I finished in almost three days, real fast. Uh, in is because also a smaller show. It's 30 minutes long each episode, but some of them go 40. It's actually a show that I really it made me think of another show. So we're off the end. I just wanted to say real quickly of some mm-hmm. shows that I got to watch that I think other people should watch. So one is On My Block. Have you ever seen On My Block? No. You should watch it. It's really funny. It's a really funny show. You think that it's a it's a teen show, but the thing I really liked about On My Block, um, which I'm two episodes away from finally finishing the whole entire series because it's only four, four seasons, is uh, one the second season opener is like one of the greatest season openings I've ever seen. Just the way that they, they, because of the music that they had on it. Like it's one of the best ones that I've ever seen. Um, Which ties with one of the really, I'm really glad I didn't watch on my block when it first came out. I didn't watch it until the third season was out because I would have been pissed after the final season finale of the first season. It's like one of those that keeps you hanging kind of things. But, uh, but yeah, the, the thing I really liked about On My Block that I think people should re- really get the chance to do is to look at is it's based in the hood, but it's not a comedy that makes the hood be the comedy. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's still funny and there's still funny moments, but the hood isn't disregarded as not being dangerous. Mm-hmm. You still are dealing with hood issues. It's just that they tie in these people are funny and they're dealing with funny things here and there, but their issues are serious. Like they're talking, there's gang, gang banging, there's, you know, drug dealing, there's killing and all that stuff that happens that have, they have to discuss. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's still a comedy show, which I really, really thought was really good. And plus it's a, it's a Brown representation. It's really good. Every single main character is is Hispanic, except for Jamal, who's black. Huh? Where do you watch it? Netflix. Um, Netflix is on my watch it. It's really good. You you really enjoy it. I think you'd, I think you'd kill it in about a weekend if you if you started watching it. Um, so yeah, so there's a Afro Latina. She's one of the main actors, and there's two other kids that are Mexican. Um, really good, really good show. So I definitely highly recommend it. Um, and the breakout character is Jamal. He's just hilarious. Um, so that's on my butt. The other one that I that I've been meaning, meaning to talk about is called a show called Zero. So. Zero, you would know more of this than I would. I wasn't aware that Italy had that many black people. And the reason I say that is because you don't see them much, right? You don't get to see mm. them that I love. It's the same you way you don't get... Yeah, and that's the truth. And that's the sad truth. This is the very first show in Italy cinematic or television history that the main characters are all black. Mm. Like it's never been done before. And so basically what it is, it's a show about a kid who um who can get him get, who is a superhero show he can become invisible and it, it has a lot to, a lot of other stuff that bothers it but that's basically the biggest thing it's like he can turn invisible is, is it live action it's live action okay so zero it's just called zero on netflix and as well on netflix okay yeah but i thought that was interesting so interesting because you don't think about the fact that you don't see we talk about representation all the time right there's other countries that have to deal with that kind of thing too because mm-hmm. if you think about it when have you ever seen a movie that's like, say, let's say France, that's predominantly uh, b- black actors as the leads? I mean, like when those like UPN and stuff, you know, they had shows for that, but the, the, it didn't have the reach of like a Friends and like, yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. it, it, it's kind of like, because, uh, but you know that they're there because uh, look at the movie that um, the Kevin Hart, uh, what's his name, uh, Cranston movie, uh, The Upside, mm-hmm. was based on The Untouchables which is a French movie, French. and the main actor is black, and the, the person who's disabled is also what is still white. I think he's the guy from Lupin, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, you know they're there, but they don't get to be shown. So you know that the people who live there, the black people who live in Africa, in, Africa, in, uh, in, in France, Italy, and Italy. in France, yeah. they don't get that representation. So anyways, I definitely highly recommend Zero. I think it First of all, it fits perfectly into our show because it's about superheroes and about representation. So mm-hmm. just wanted to really quickly just point those out. Um, those are two shows that I recently got to catch that I thought so, would be something interesting to watch. So that's on my block and zero on Netflix. And zero. On Netflix. Both. Okay. All right. I'll maybe I'll knock out. Wait, which how many seasons is zero? 
Zero is one. One season. Okay. Ten episodes, right. 30, 40 minutes long. Is that like a new show? Like, do you I, think it'll be a I season think it was two? Bay, I think it came out in 2021. Okay, so there might be a season two then. Okay. Maybe. Cool. Yeah. I, I, I might check it out. Um, uh, I-